Here we go. Oh, on air. Okay, super. So we have a super introduction of the dork table and the Putin gaslight edition today <laughs> on <laughs> libertymedia.com right here at rlmradio.xynz. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. All the way to the end. And here we are. That's me and Flash back together, together, uh, together again by popular demand. And, uh, and we're here to Mary, entertain yeah. you. Well, I hijacked you because Mary had uh, important uh, grandmommy things to do over the summer. Yes, Mary had a little lamb. Well, no, actually what happened recently was she got flooded. So she, all that garden work has to be redone. And Saturdays, like you know, Saturdays a work day on a farm. Yeah, I like to uh, flood chat sometimes. <laughs> <coughs> Jesus Christ. Well, okay. <coughs> so you, I, you get to be I the can't Mary. See and chat right now. Oh, you can't. Then you how are you going to say hi no. to everybody? You're going to have to tell me uh, one oh, at okay. a time. And... <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, just do it backwards. So, and, from and what I usually do. Yeah. But. Okay, All so right. I know I'm there, so I'm going to say, hey, Vinny, I, I, oh, hey, I might hey. not even be more. Hey, first off, so. we're on um, Spreaker, which is, oh. it's a small platform, but it, it's pretty, it's good. I enjoy the, um, using it myself. <laughs> so say hi to Spreaker, Vinny. Hi, hi Spreaker. And and uh, let's see, we get some people from Minds that check us out. Hey, Minds, I've not been uh, migrating over there lately. Uh being kind of uh, on the road so long and uh, working off a phone mostly. So mm. I, well, I hate typing on a phone, honest to goodness. And I've neglected chat here, you know, for quite some time too. just pop in short. Mine's, Flick that yeah, stupid little phone. But mine's is more of an info than a chat room. You know, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. There's a, a so lot cool. of, yeah. And there's a little bit of chat, but not much. Yeah. Anyway, I, I was there. I got some good, uh, uh, I, I liked it over there, but like yeah. I said, there's just so many places to go and so much time. And um, they're splitting I'd the groups really, up smaller and smaller all the time. Yeah. Divide and conquer, Vinny. Read a book. <laughs> anyway, R L M. Okay, this is my favorite part. We got Barman. Oops, is that me? Barman? No, you're Vince. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I heard a funny noise and it was my arm brushing the cable. Wait, let me try it again. <laughs> Weirdo. Oh, it is. It it feels good too. Ah, Does it sound good? You I like have that? No idea. <laughs> don't, don't ask me. Anyway, barman. <laughs> Let's start with the alphabet here. At B, Cowboy Tech, Grimnir, Moose Girl, Miss Kate, Asmo, Beth Z. Oh. Chal Sedini, there's no O in it this time again. Uh, Chloe, singular. Free Enslaved, Graham Z, Java Doctor 2. I think Graham Z's slumming, though, out, out in her yard. I don't think she's here. Uh, Jay's Nines and Jay's is logged on, but he's probably not around. Uh, Wanna Taco, Rain, RLM Fluke, you know, because the guy likes that one. Uh, yes, Bob and works. Grammy calls her Devanna White. Of yeah, RLM. But see, it always gets Hank all turned on and, and she gets all creeped out by Hank. So <laughs> it's a catch 22. Uh, Rob works again and trust number one and Beetle and hello, honey. And Colfax 101. Dakota, me, Flash Tastic. Uh, Frumpy, Frumpy 2. IBC, IB Don C work. Kozu, mo 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 I'm just going to lie to you about what the Skype says or what the RLM chat says. Uh, yeah, because it's truncated and uh, will not <laughs> I... be able to be seen unless you're there live now. <laughs> That's right. That's so, me. <laughs> say what you want to say over there, okay? <laughs> I do. I've been known to do that more than one time. So, 
Besides your road trips, how long, how long have you been home now? About a week? Uh, uh, three? I, I don't even remember now. It's just kind of all blurred together. <laughs> I still um, remember when you were planning to go. Like it yeah. was yesterday, and it's been one I know. and a half. Yeah, where, it's I, uh, about 18 months. I think the list of where you didn't go is smaller than where you went. <laughs> you as may as be right. As, and the things I done was so fantastical. <clears throat> I, a very small way. You know, I like to say if you can't do great things, do small things in a great way. Um, mm. That's kind of the way I look at it. Like uh, I like Forrest Gump. You know, I identify with that that character. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Chloe remembers. I I know Chloe remember when I read uh, uh, a part of the book, and I would listened to the audio book, and then uh, saw the PDF and read uh, some of that there I compared it to the movie was uh it was quite different actually and uh even though it was a lot different in so many ways it's still enjoyable but as one of the very very rare uh occasions where the uh the movie's better in the book i i think uh, i would have to say that this is definitely one of them and of course forrest gump is a, a, a classic and one of my all-time favorite movies uh and i have a few and some of them say so many things. And actually, I just watched part of a new movie, uh, or new to me anyways, the Lego movie. Uh, no, I haven't uh, seen it. Yeah, so I, I see that it's identified with, uh, with like, the Matrix and uh, the, the dystopian future in, uh, of, like, uh, 1984. So they, these little small implants, of course, in, into uh, movies. And, hey, there's Austin. I mean, Austin, that's Logan. Yeah. You want to say oh, hi? You got friend, family, and friends around, eh? Uh huh. Hey, he's looking at the phone. Don't touch it, though, okay? No, Look. that. Say hi. Send me, send me to Poland. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Is, is that pretty? No, don't touch it. He did it anyways. <laughs> hi. hi, take a hike. That's what you get. <laughs> take a hike, dude. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Wait, you're blocking the signal. Wow. <laughs> well. Okay, am there's... I still here? Yeah, there's no better time to hit it than right now. <laughs> it's 420 it. somewhere. I don't care where. It's okay. 418 yeah. somewhere. It's close enough. Close enough. That's what I like and to say. Yeah, Chloe, I, I Chloe spoke says, my... Says, Chloe says, yep, I remember. She I'm, just, I'm yeah. responding to you from the chat you can't see. Thank you very much. Thank I'm you, like Chloe. I do good. Thank you, Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my... Uh, my uh, accent or whatever that I used when I was reading that was kind of a mix between the uh, Tom Hanks and the uh, the guy that wrote read the uh, part uh, of the book actually there the audio book you can yeah. find it on YouTube so if you're if you're interested just search ever, it up. Do you ever watch old American movies from the 30s, 40s, and 50s? I used to quite a bit uh, of late, not so much, but I, those are movies I really enjoy. And, and you know what? There's so many lost. Uh, uh, adventures and not watching uh, or having not seen any of those movies for so many people. You know, I was talking uh, yesterday that uh, they're, they're saying IQ scores worldwide are dropping. Of course, uh, there, there's a lot of reason why that's happening, but but definitely. So a lot of that's lost. Even the, the new movies that they're making these days, it's like uh, they don't even have enough imagination to come, with, come up with anything new that they're having to go back and make a new movie. <laughs> Rehash all, over all and ones. over. Yeah. 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 But that's how I they're feel. doing a good job. Me and my wife will sit here and, and spend 20 minutes scrolling through the sh choices because the new stuff's all a bunch of crap. And we've really? seen the good old stuff, so it kind of limits what's available, and you end up having to go back and play video games or something on the computer because the choices you know, it, are so limited. Right. They seem like there's hundreds of choices, but they're really they're five stories told the you know the same way with different faces, or or another pet peeve is to get some actor <clears throat> like, like uh, Stallone who just does the same character over and over in fifty different movies. Hey, that's not right. Uh, 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 hey, hey, it's Adrian. You're talking about here. Hey, we could do a whole show just mumbling like Stallone. <laughs> get good ratings hey the stallone brothers are on the dork table <laughs> no i'm putin you're the uh gas lighter oh so together a... we're explosive <laughs> you, you, know, you know what what irritates me about all that shit the most right 
is uh, I don't. First off, I don't give two flying fucks about what other people do. I don't tell other people what to do. I don't care what other people do. I just don't want them to do it to me. So how that's gaslighting that I point that out to the public is beyond me. Because I don't want to lead anybody anywhere. Lead me on. No, you can't make me, you big bully. I don't want to be your senator. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of people might think that uh, anarchy is a bad thing. Or anarchy doesn't mean that there's not a government, in a sense, or rules that we follow in, in life. Let's so, discuss it, that, because me and you are actually two... Um, anarchist minded it's it's not about living it's about how you think that's it's right got nothing to do with the fucking life that you live because we're all victims of this fucking game one way or another but jesus christ for other people to judge your thought process from the outside looking in based on words on a screen is totally insane you know, I, I really uh, had some great opportunities over my uh, adventures these uh, past uh, year and a half, uh, even to be being an FBI informant in Denver. And uh, I, I informed to the FBI in the courtroom and to the prosecutor and uh, a couple other people sitting in there. And when I said, uh, you know, we've come from where our first response is death. And that prosecutor, he is a real asshole, Robert Shapiro. Yeah, he, he made threats and veiled threats and open outright threats to me and stomped around in his chair and stuff uh, later on. But I went in when I first went in, I, I slapped him my laminated piece of paper and uh, said, uh, this is for identification and notification of intent and uh, uh, no rights are waived. But I went in there and they listened. They sit down and uh, listen, but I grabbed their attention. And that's why I say, yes, I was an FBI informant. And later on, they came to uh, uh, be sitting outside while the jury was uh, deliberating. And uh, I came back, I walked by, and I go, oh, I came back. I said, what kind of reporter would I be if I didn't get a picture? And they, we don't want our picture taken. And I was like, really? It's kind of too bad. And it, just the short of it there. But uh, so he says that Ryan English, the FBI agent, says, you start taking our picture. We're headed inside. I got you blocked, boy. You ain't coming on into the touchdown phone. No, no, no. <laughs> well, blocked. Sent- it sounds like you really enjoyed Admiralty Court. Uh, I did. Yeah. Well, I, I got to tell you, they really exposed their evils of uh, how they operate. You ain't coming over, boy. Ha uh, ha. Well, what do you? How do you mean exposed? Because I think they do everything right in front of everyone. They just tell them they're doing something that they're not doing. Absolutely, and, but, and that's basically what it was. They yeah. they are making their own rules. So Bruce Doucette, he's challenged their uh, jurisdiction and and in response they say no we, we claim our own jurisdiction daniel help oh i'm back I'm here used with to Han- me yeah and i'm used to hannah being barking and carrying on so that's the kids no pet problem to me oh uh, yeah Suit i yourself. encourage kids yeah, yeah i encourage kids to act up well, you got to outsmart out. them, you know, because right. you can't bribe them and you can't beat them into submission you got to be smarter than them Mm-hmm. It's pretty difficult because they're crafty little fuckers. <laughs> as soon as uh, you figure them out, they figure it out that you figured it out, and they change too. <laughs> it's called evolving and growing. Yeah, if anybody's not heard of Dana Martin, check her out and uh, uh, her method of parenting. Um, kind of like an anarchy type of deal. Uh, you know how uh, you can't well, just you throw were, a kid okay. in there. Well, I brought up... We should discuss that, and you went off on a uh, an, an adventure about court and how I meant it. Yeah, is, how and I mean, our... but how I mean it is the way that we actually think is not a reflection of the way that we physically live. Yeah. Well, some but people we disagree with that. But they don't realize they're not given an option out. So how do you know that you have the best if you've never done anything? But what you're doing, <laughs> you know, that's that's the bottom line perspective. You know, you uh, your vision, you know, it gives you a, your uh, idea of what the world is around you. And 
most of your senses, senses, you know, play some part in that, right? But uh, generally, it's your vision and what you see, and it's so easy to uh, trick the, uh, you know, they it, the it cause optical eye. illusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Sleight of hand. Yeah, uh, you know, magicians been using this for for a long time. Well, yeah. politicians have been using it since they started conning us. Right. Okay. That's they right. Pro- and every fu- I don't understand this voting thing. Every fucking election ever <laughs> since I was a child, it's always been the same story. We voted this guy in and he didn't keep his word. <laughs> every president that's ever I, we voted him in and what happened? He got in power and then never kept his word. And the ones that tried to got shot. <laughs> So, uh, what's the point of all that? Well, you can't just abandon it and leave it uh, as is. And, and uh, you know, a lot of people would say, withdraw and do not vote. Well, people like Cindy Lake in Las Vegas, who's running for uh, uh, in council there, type of, uh, you know, uh, different parts of the, the city and valley are broke up in the district. So, she, yeah, we'll she's say joining it all together is the problem. This, this right. idea that you can rule well, over occupy, people occupy is insane. Occupy the seats of decision best you can with people like her. Um, okay, yeah. That, that right. are at least are making direction because if you abandon the whole thing, um, then, then it just you, you're giving your consent for the conquering. So if, uh, if there exist rules that can be uh, you know taken advantage of, like Hal talks about, then by all means, let's try to um, educate first of all one another in discussion because uh, it, it doesn't matter what you say to somebody they don't see it as you're saying it because they see it their own way so uh, to be able to to build a bridge and, and be able to make connections uh, in small ways like the you know optical uh, nerve there and all the tubes and rods and stuff and you make up your eyeball hey well, you're back i would Where's say that <laughs> I would say from my own experience that greed is nurtured by your surroundings as you're growing up. And then when you're an adult, you choose your road. Yeah, different people grow up at different times, don't they? I oh, got yeah, this guy it, it now. <laughs> it, took me, it took me over 50 years. Yeah. To grow up? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure I've grown up yet. Oh, well, I'm as close to it as I've ever been. I've been with Cirque for four years. Yeah. So. Well, like this, yesterday. Right. But this isn't, uh, <laughs> this is a little different. I'm actually, uh, I'm not on a t- different, like a different time schedule all the time. And, you know, one two weeks of work and, and one week off. It's more stable. It's a better lifestyle I'm living now. I still got gypsy blood welled up in me, I'm afraid. Then burn it out. Don't stop oh, until yeah. you're done. That's what I did. Yeah. I kept going until I was finished. And I'll tell you this from, from my side of it is when when I knew I was finished, I just knew it. Yeah. Yeah, I was in Copenhagen for about – me and Cirque were there for eight months. And during that first eight months, I w- was telling her one night, you know, maybe living in the country would be something to check into. And a couple of months later, she decided she wanted to move to the country. Nice. So, well, yeah, but it just fell into place. I didn't talk her into it or convince her of anything. It was just chattering. And the next thing I know, she thought, yeah, because I told her that I thought Copenhagen was becoming a small L.A. And that inside of 10 years, I wouldn't even be able to tell the difference except the language. Right. And, and she took it seriously. And, and, and after we moved, she started to read the newspaper and see how the neighborhood she came from was doing. And there was more trouble brewing as time passed on. So, you know, the the state's got to support itself. And one of the ways it does that is through crime. And causing crime. It's like, uh, t- take a look at L.A. Uh, let's go to South Central and um hmm. Yeah, well, well the gangs guy, work with the police. It's not they're not enemies, they're allies. It's a property well, scheme. It's a fucking property scheme and a way to keep drugs flowing. They it's, they obviously have these little rules of engagement that uh, unofficially exist and that's a fact. But it's also fueled and it's part of the social engineering. I met a guy uh, back in the day when you know I was doing other things uh and uh, he told me that he was paid to uh 
park a van in South Central and uh, lock it and walk away. It was mm-hmm. filled with guns. Filled with guns. Wow. So, <laughs> you know. Well, you remember uh, that Snoop Dogg character? That he was a gangbanger back in California, way back, years and years ago, right? And yeah. The other day, somebody says, well, he wasn't a gangbanger. Oy vey. No. Yeah. Okay, here we go again. Because what happens with people is the original story gets turned around to face a different direction and repeated and repeated. And 20 years later, people don't know the truth about what they're talking about. What are you talking about? They're still stuck in, like, the newspaper said. Huh? Well, I, got, I had a problem the other day with somebody <laughs> about... This that rapper guy, what's his name? No, Snoop Dogg. He he was a crip. Yo, what's in Long up? Beach. Yeah, well the the person I was talking to, whoa, he wasn't in a game. Well, he said he was, and you say he wasn't. What? All I know is I'm the big <laughs> Not easy. Not you, baby. you the person I was talking to, you monkey. I I'm the big easy, baby. Oh, I know that. Yeah. Yeah, but you'll tell people what color your fucking socks are. You don't have any pride. I'm not wearing any socks. See, I told you. Wow. <laughs> you, is nothing sacred in your anarchist world? No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't last, you have any fucking secrets? <laughs> last last week I went to the river and yeah. I pissed I pissed on the riverside. Yeah, in wide open public. Well, aren't you proud of yourself? Why did yeah, you do I that? Think, well, because they had a toilet up top, and uh, I just wanted to uh, express my discontent for uh, the idea that I should have to go piss in a crapper. Did, did you accomplish your dreams? Yes, and then Are I you, swam in the river. Chloe laughed. Well, yeah, at least you're sharing. <laughs> you're sharing the load with yourself too. <laughs> <laughs> Frumpy you, caught me. <laughs> Frumpy <laughs> caught me pissing at the end of uh, the White Horse Prophecy with uh, Brand Thornton. <laughs> we went, wow. went out. Went outside. I was in Texas and went outside and pissed in the yard. Wow, this is a good mic. It really picked it up. <laughs> I said, I it, was watering the, the dogs, man. <laughs> it's, the, it's the anarchist topic. And another thing, it ke- keeps the weeds down. You don't need yeah, to well, use that, what's that co- shit called, uh, that Roundup shit? <laughs> Just pee yeah. on the fucking weeds. They'll die in a week. <laughs> uh, I, you know, honestly, uh, pissing is the ultimate expression of anarchy. Because it's not only God-given right that we'd be able to piss, but, uh, you know, that we have to piss. So, yeah. I I heard that there was a law in California that said that uh, it's not illegal to urinate or or even defecate maybe in public. But uh, then again, I've seen other laws that say that uh, they'll give you a a sex offender crime for doing it. So Yeah, well, making something against the law doesn't really do anything except generate money. So what's the point? They pissed you know, and shit in the streets of Paris for centuries. I would assume so. Thank God, or we wouldn't even have had perfume and cologne. Well, if you had a fourth floor walk up before indoor plumbing, where did the shit go? <laughs> Out the window. The shit splattered. Well, yeah. there you go. So that's why people wore <laughs> boots. The Nazis <laughs> wore them for fashion, but the old timers yeah. wore them for, for, uh, to keep their feet clean. And thankfully, cities evolved, and they built city uh, sewers and drains for storms and no, stuff. No, 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 Vinny, you got it all backwards. It was a sign that it was a failed experiment from the fucking gate, and people didn't pay attention. It was a warning to let you know, don't do this. It's bad for you. And what is that? that's the city, and everything that's come from the city is turned out to be bad for us. Well, we need our cities to have more yard that uh, contain gardens and trees and uh things like that how about how about cutting politicians they don't get paid they pay to hold the seat and they're not allowed to earn any money while they hold the seat (laughs) well that would just mean that uh, see how many fucking how many thieves and liars you get in the office at that point (laughs) well then there'd just be back doorways in there that uh it would be only people that were getting backdoor funding set or were already rich that would be uh, holding those uh, seats of decision and position well, of uh, authority. What if, what if politics was just kept to a, a minimum where people couldn't make that kind of deal in the first place? <laughs> See, well, 
your average guy is afraid of everybody else. So he needs government and police to protect him because he's a fucking pussy. And they think that everybody is out to get them because they watch too much TV and Fox News and, you know, shit like that that makes you paranoid and, and afraid of the guy they bet that that's, lives next door because he doesn't look like you do. <laughs> you know, you remember I, I called 911 in Vegas. Um, when the, actually yeah, I remember. The I, yeah. I bought, yeah, when I bought my yeah. bus ticket back from uh, Vegas to Texas. And uh, I, I was hearing a woman screaming. I thought it was coming from the alley because of the, you know, the uh, effects of sound throwing it. And it's up in a parking structure in the alley. So I ran down there, nothing. And then I hear something else. And I couldn't pinpoint it, whether it was on the second or third level. And, you know, to go rushing up in there would have been foolish. So what, what well, I do, I run back up to Fremont. Batman. I, I <laughs> run back up to Fremont and I look for a cop and no cop. So. My next option was to call 911 and then to uh, cooperate with the, uh, e even though she's an idiot, like ask oh. me a bunch of stupid questions and I'm telling her where. And it's like, do you not understand? I'm giving you precise directions exactly where. Yeah. So, anyways, it was I was probably not talk. in her script to understand what you were saying. It's not their yeah. job to listen, it's their job to talk. Yeah, probably so. Like that, a salesman. Maybe, yeah. yeah, yeah, and maybe asking the same question in different ways to uh, <clears throat> just to check my uh, accuracy. Or, There's uh, another so, option, yeah. Vincent. <clears throat> What's that? Well, you're not half as stupid as the average person that uses nine one one. I'm not as half as stupid, so that means mm -hmm. what? That means I'm less, that what they're I'm less used stupid to or what, more yeah, stupid. what they're used to dealing <laughs> with is even more stupid than you, stupid. <laughs> oh, she, she did ask me some questions like uh, uh, if there was any drugs or alcohol involved. And I said, no. She, <laughs> she asked, are you using any drugs in al or alcohol? And I said, uh, no, not, not at all. I don't wow. count pot as a, a drug, of course. But right. <laughs> so, uh, and then she says, if I had any weapons, it's like, wait, I'm the one doing the call in here, right? For help. But <laughs> yeah. it's like, uh, do I have any? I says, yes, I, I have a pocket knife. She says, is it in your hand? I said, no, it's in my pocket. <laughs> well, yeah, it would be a hand knife if it was in my hand. Right, right. So after all said and done, and it's like the cops pass me by, and I go, up there, up there. And I'm like, they pass me. If they pass me. I'm sitting here waving them. <laughs> See? So, <laughs> and I can't count the times I've posted or – seen other people post that the police have no duty to protect you well it was her tactical movement actually they were going to uh, come around because then eventually man i can't imagine if somebody was it was a long time for them to get there it, yeah exactly it, That's if, what you I mean. if you were the victim if you were the victim think, where are it you? would be forever i swear yes yeah. that it, they, that proves right there what you just said they got no duty to perform they're there at the whim of somebody but it ain't you yeah. When, when it was all said done and the the girl that turned out to be one of the victims uh and i watched them bring the fellow out and put him in an ambulance and, and all this so i stood in the same spot the lady told me to stay at the whole time and yeah. uh so when finally everything starts uh, breaking down and so i walk up to the front and uh, uh the one of the cops uh, that had come questioned me right off uh when they first got there after passing me two or three minutes later uh, when I say right off, uh, I so I started approaching him and I put my hands in the air and holding my phone up. It's like uh, I don't have a gun, and, and he just looks at me like, uh, wow. and kind of, kind of, I don't even know how to describe the movement. Anyways, his head goes down and to the right, and his eyebrow kind of comes up like, oh come on, man, I'm not gonna shoot you, you know that kind of look right there. And <laughs> so I then I put my hand down and approach him. Uh, yeah, so but I, it's it's really come down to that kind of behavior in in society in the city oh yeah you know it's it's ridiculous uh, these i mean come on fuck if the well, police you know, are afraid what are you supposed to be if you're not even armed <laughs> even more afraid <laughs> <laughs> i yeah. don't know I, I just avoid the whole thing it's like what the fuck is the point i did it all so mm, you know enough is enough it would be like the equivalent of being a lion tamer right and I lion tamed for 50 fucking years without getting bit by a lion. So quit. 
retire from that and don't do that anymore. You've pushed your luck far enough. <laughs> and that's how I see city life. Yeah. Um, I, I don't like to very, be told what, I don't like to be told what streets dangerous. to walk. Yeah. I don't like to be told what streets are safe to walk down. What the fuck? Where, where are we living? Beirut? You know, I mean, 20, 30 years or more ago, uh, I've gone off in some of these places that are considered, you know, very dangerous. And uh, I've had people come up and say, yo, you ain't afraid to be here, man? <laughs> no, that's what I got to be afraid nah, of. Well, yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, it's well, hey, me. now I'm old. I got, I got yeah, room yeah. for arthritis. And you know what? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I ain't saying I'm afraid, but I'm very cautious. You know, I, I kind of keep... Uh, all my uh what's going on around me in, in view and uh be aware and it's like Hal talks wow. about you know this beast that we're up against this uh control of how the world works but you know in the offspring of that beast is the uh, these people that have been socially engineered all the way down to the dregs the, the street people and the you know the the most evil i i wonder some about these street people too that are uh psychotic and uh what what has happened to them and caused them to become this? And, you know, there's danger in that. And then danger because drugs are illegal. And, you know, so uh, there's people wanting their fix and they're willing to, to kill to for 20 bucks or five bucks or even, hmm. uh, you know, people will take life for nothing. So where are we at well, in this world? How do we have well, to, you know, make our way through this world without being wow. devoured or, or run over or you know. Well, you you went back to the to the sticks. That'll do it. Well, I don't think I'm gonna Get be here the, very long. Well, are you going back to a city, or are you just going back to more sticks? No, I'm going to uh, into the belly of the beast. Uh, I, I'll be meeting a friend if uh, if plans don't fall through. You know, hopefully his end will still yeah. stick. But, uh, <clears throat> so I'll be meeting a friend in Riverside, and then we're gonna go to uh, oh. Portland, Oregon. Yeah, home of the uh, serial killers is. Uh, Sir Hansalot would say. Uh, yeah, Portland, Oregon. <laughs> wow. What yeah, do you think this we'll notice? July 24th will begin the uh, trial for this FBI agent that's uh, lied in the, about opening fire on the voice. Okay, that, and that's in Oregon. That's what you want to go there for. Yeah. So you're going to go to liberal hell so that you can play Big Shot at a trial. No, so I can continue oh. the witness that uh, that's what I'm doing. You know, it's uh, yeah. You're leaving uh, your mark. You're <laughs> leaving your stain in society, Mister. Let me tell you. Well, uh, you you remember the the poem, the the hangman, uh, and there was nobody to stand up for me. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, no, I, I understand. And, I'm giving you. I yeah. Does it no, sound I'm, like I'm giving you shit. I think I'd it's like a big fucking me. deal. Yeah. Hey, you're gaslighting me. Wait, poop, 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 poop. Yeah, but I think it's a, <laughs> I think it's a big deal that you got that you've got that kind of uh, interest to do that because I wouldn't do what you're doing, even if I had the knowledge. I am not going into an admiralty court to do fucking anything. I wouldn't use a toilet in an admiralty court. Yeah, it was. So, uh, it, well, right, wait, wait, wait. Be, I mean, because. Of the way I think, right? The anarchy thing just says no. Don't don't volunteer to go jump in their shit pool. Stay away from it. And as long as you're not creating a financial disturbance in the world in any way, the system just it doesn't give a fuck about you. You're just left alone. The only way the uh, government's interested in an individual is if they're relying on the government for money. Well, you, I'm going to tell you what. You start dealing with those folks, you better... Uh, you better keep your path, uh, where you tread, keep it in sight and be, it's very dangerous. And, um, you know, people have made so many missteps in, in dealing with these folks. Um, yeah, it's dangerous. Yeah. Cause they're speaking yeah. another fucking language. And if you don't have the right amount of money, you can't play. It's all that simple. It's about money. Yeah. It Jeez. is definitely a control mafia. It, it is corrupt. I I've seen. I've seen nothing compared to some of these people that I met in mainstream that it, that do this for a living and get paid for it. I'm telling you, the two trials that I went to, I that was enough. I seen how it operated. It, it is completely 
corrupt in, in self-preservation of the system. And the mm -hmm. players, they don't care. The rules are you can get away with what you can get away with until you get caught, and then you don't concede that anyways. Yeah. Okay, well, it's, a couple of evil. months ago, Vince, a couple of months ago, I posted a link about a guy that figured out how to explain <clears throat> how the damn Admiralty Court gets away with what they do in words. And he made a, a video explaining it and went, wow. I did. So what it works down to is the, the wording has to be done in a certain format for uh, legal fiction to be real. Well, beyond all of that, the, uh, the thing you want to do is avoid that jurisdiction and entering into their jurisdiction. Define and, uh, the jurisdiction. Yeah, we'll define well, where, that. Where, yeah, where they claim and hey, Daniel, and they can you do claim me a favor? any. my water, please, please. But Vincent, I claim yeah. that they claim any fucking claim they want to claim. They don't have to sure. stand on truth or knowledge. They That's just right. got to want to, and they've got the resources to bury just about anybody. And w what they did to Bundy, they killed one of his kids. Well, got away with it. No, they didn't kill it, one of his kids. Hey. The, what? What, well, who was the bo the boy that got shot in the in that um, getting Brandy out of that Lee. car? Okay, I thought it was oh, one of the. Bu I get names confused real easy. I'm really bad with names and faces, but I usually got the right event. But <clears throat> my point is, is they were trying to fuck him out of his land on bogus nonsense that they sold to, hey. through to, through the media to the public because they're a bunch of morons, and when that didn't work and it didn't fall apart and the people stood with Bundy against them. Well, what could they do? So they took one of his kids and put the rest of them in jail for a while. Well, they didn't kill one of uh, Clyman's sons. They, they no, beat the, up. not the okay. I made the wrong. I made the wrong name, but it was involved yeah. in all that. It, that was the core of it. They got something for something. It's well, like, they killed uh, Randy Weaver's son and shot his wife and blew her skull all over their little baby girl, splattered all over her, killed her dead standing in the doorway. Uh, glass yeah, yeah. and jawbone splattered all over the little baby girl. You know, kill dead. You know, they make up things like uh, entice people into crimes. That That's yeah. what I saw. Uh, you know, and that's been what I've seen, how it works. But I've seen it firsthand in, in the trials, how they sent these uh, uh, people in, these FBI agents undercover to create crime. Uh, this yeah. DK in Bruce Doucette trial, um, he went in there. And I, I heard the recording that they were using as evidence of him saying, hey, yeah, let's go get one of these judges. Let's go pick them up. You know, and they're talking about, well, what do we do with them? We don't have a jail to hold them. And well, let's just take them, pick them out of state. Yeah, this yeah. is the stuff, you know, and this is this is these uh, terrorist attacks, these uh, yeah. uh, terrors that they caught. They create they create them. They hey, facilitate it. You want to yeah. you want to play a game with me about the Admiralty Court? Because Chloe's got questions instead of asking okay. the questions. I want I want to have fun with this. Okay, so, so I'm I'll, not an I'll ask you. No, but you just tell me what you know because you know enough and you've been through I it. Don't. Okay? No, probably not. Because her, her question is, isn't Admiralty Court about maritime law? And the answer is, Vincent. <laughs> well, um, th this is how it's come to the land. And again, so I'm not an expert on this, but they, they did transfer... Uh, it's, it's just sea and land and air. Uh, these are these cat categories. In, uh, um, you know, I, I don't. I don't have to. Well, okay. The way they changed it physically is they put the Admiralty Court flag in place of the American flag. Well, there's a whole bunch of steps in progress. How right, they've right. Done. But that's a whole protocols. Study uh, but there's protocols Robert. to ritual. Rob works there's, knows a lot about this. Right, right, but there's protocols to ritual, Mister, that you have to do in order for your illusion to be real. And if you don't follow your own rules, then how do you make them up? As <laughs> well, anyway. let me tell you about my uh, my experience on the sea, and this is how I look at uh, uh, mm -hmm. my experience in life. I look at this as me. I'm my own vessel. And I am on the seas, and I'm out in exploration, and and you know literally upon the land here, and and via the airwaves or the Ethernet, the ether. You know, I've actually traveled the world that way, and uh, <laughs> yeah. no, honestly. So yeah. I'm out here yeah. exploring, right? And, yeah. and I yeah. find people. I find people that are sound, 
that are, are stable and, and are a beacon like Hal Anthony. So there I, I have one of these, uh, you know, the, the lights on the harbor, right? The, uh, what do they call them? You know, the lights. The, <laughs> my mind blank. What are they called, Flash? Somebody what do they help call me. what? Those lights that like are for ships out there, you know, beacons. Uh, run, running lights. No, they're on big old tall buildings, and they have a light that goes around yeah, and around. I don't know. To warn oh. the ship. Yeah, oh, let's the, see. Uh, Help me, Chad. Those light, the, the light. The light. Lighthouses. Lighthouses. Lighthouse. That's the light. Yeah, it's a house with a light. Yeah. It know. even got me light. stuck, and I knew what you were talking about. The lighthouse, yeah. yes. But I have yeah. buoys, too. You know, I have all these yeah. people cast out yeah. there that, you know, I have them, and they're riding up on the waves, right? And I see them, and I, it's like for calculating. And so I, I go about and uh, uh, different people that I, I'm able to draw from, right, and see a perspective. And that's what I try to do. I, of course, I'm just as guilty as, as anybody else of, uh, you know, being, a, 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 in a sense, a prisoner of my own ideology, my own uh, perceptions and principles that I set forth. And, right. So that's the way everybody is. Yeah, to be honest. But how do we hey. uh, how do we come about to, uh, you know, have an encounter? Two ships well, passing in the night or, you know, docking yeah. at the same moor. There's no way to explain to somebody that supports the system how corrupt the system is. They won't listen. Mooring at the same dock, I should say. Yeah, but the people, the people that support it can't handle the truth about it. They think that it's a bunch of lies. Like, like my aunt that votes for Hillary Clinton says, well, all those stories they tell you about Hillary, that's just a bunch of lies so that you'll hate her. When the woman I is responsible me. for a lot Hillary. of horrible shit. Excellent. What? Sucks. Oh no, that's just subliminal messages. Go ahead, carry on. Uh, well, I was making a point of how to how to compare the compare the thing. Ankles. Ankles. There are certain ideas you can't teach me. Ankles are your friend. Oh, you're reading. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm adding subliminal messages. <laughs> to, <laughs> to, <laughs> hey, wow. Well, anyway, what what happened is. The Admiralty Court got its way. The The court system is a fraud. It's bullshit. But we're all trained chimpanzees and do what we're told. And they got police well, to enforce a bunch of crap. Well, you just tried to deny the authority of the system and the, you will be dead. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. they'll shoot, yeah. You so can instead, believe, believe in whatever you want to, but the reality is, is we exist uh, where we're at and, and what we're at and what <laughs> what we're in here and, and to deny that uh, is very foolish so we have to be very careful in our encounters and our challenges and, and, and again that's that's what I was trying to tell these uh, people of the court there in Denver uh, right listen to the names and see how ironic this is so the FBI agent's name is English Ryan English so we got the English in the court right the judge his name is Spear <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, the, the district attorney, Robert Shapiro, robber ship, and uh, the U.S. Marshal appointed from the uh, Denver Sheriff's Department. His name <laughs> yeah. is Byrne, Byrne, <laughs> and, and the assistant wow. to the DA, her name was yeah. Wart. Yeah. Uh, oh, my God, it just tells the whole story right there. Their names, in that case, of Bruce Doucette, I mean, you could get some tin full uh, out and build you a hat with that right there alone. I ain't kidding. Mm. Okay, I'm Even not kidding either, but I still believe that um, if the population could handle the truth and, and understand it, that they wouldn't comply with any of it. Well, I don't think that'd be the truth. There's, uh, you, right, I don't know. I right. about people are going to comply because that's uh, most people. That's they're sheep. They really are cattle, and uh, it's built into them. Uh, you, you look at uh, psychology of of uh, herd animals, and uh, you'll find humans to to fit that category rather well. There's other types of people, you know. There's the predators. Uh, you probably find ty all types of examples of uh, animal types. Let's call it in uh, human behavior. Uh, yeah. uh, but I think probably. most people are are herd herding animals. They, they're easily led. I said what easily. What are you? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm maybe like a gnome. 
Well, do you ever follow anybody at all, or do you just always do what you please? Um, I believe in lead, follow, or get out of the way, and I don't have a follow. Oh, I don't. Get the fuck out of my way. Some people are... Some people are, are better capable of uh, taking charge of other things. And uh, the key to leadership is knowing how to delegate authority as well. So, Well, I like to be in situations where it's not necessary to bother. So the smaller the group I'm in, the less authority there is. Well, I will tell and, you and, something from – okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. And, and so what I've settled for in my older days is the group of family that I married into. Yeah, and nice. yeah, and they're very nice people, so it's very comfortable. And it's not so huge that everybody doesn't get to know everybody a little bit. There's no anonymous faces because it's a small group. Well, I've been a lot of places and never uh, met a stranger myself. Oh well, I have. <laughs> I'm I'm not the happy-go-lucky guy in person that you hear on the radio every week, every other week. <laughs> well, I enjoy life. And no, uh, actually, and, I'm just I'm joking. You know, I, I, I am kind of kind of nice to people in person as opposed to um, the interwebs. Tobacco and pipe and wine and. I think the interweb brings my inner beast out and lets lets me yell at people that I normally would just ignore. You know, there's so much to learn in life, and life is so short. (laughs) I'll be, uh, I think, 54. I think, yeah, 54 this year. Thank you, bro. I I think of it more as experience than learn, because things change. So when something that I've learned changes. If I'm stuck on what I originally thought in the first place that changed into something else and I'm not willing to go with a change, I'm the one that loses. And it's a hard it's hard to live that way. <clears throat> Cuz even part of me wants to be um what do you call it? Uh in control of life instead of just going where life takes me. Sometimes even I want to go, "Hey, I'm going to do this." Cuz you know, if, what I've learned is that everything I thought was wrong. <laughs> yeah, I was way off. You know, uh, of course, I believe in God, but I don't argue uh, religion with anybody. People are trying to define God instead of, uh, you know, God as who he is, whatever. So, anyways, my prayer, uh, you know, just, just along this way is that, uh, you know, to guide my tra- path and to leave, uh, you know, signs on the trail. Uh, that I'm following, the, you know, the right direction. And uh, it's just, uh, for me, I, I've found that to be uh, very evident in my travels. And, and like I, Hal likes to call it, uh, you know, it, uh, himself as being a pathfinder. And so he goes out and seeks a way. And, and he leaves us, uh, you know, evidence there that we can see that we are following a, a clear, uh, direct path. Uh, avoiding the pitfalls, right? Staying out of the path of the beast. That would otherwise uh, consume you or run you over, you know, and it's a daily okay. habit. Well, I, ha- I have my own take on this after all these years, and that is simple. There are so many people that have the funds to support this, what we're doing, that it can't end because there's no resistance to it. So they'll just keep paying for it to happen. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any hope of actually winning this because, yeah. the, again, the herd animal of uh, the human instinct. Um, what I'm really insulted where, by lately is the legalizing weed bullshit. Well, I'm going to tell you, it's better being legal than it was being illegal, but I agree with de- decriminalization. Oh, okay, you really see a difference, do you fucking really? Oh, yeah, if, I've been to how can they, several how can weed they, states. No, no, with the stroke of a fucking pen. Just like they made it illegal in the first fucking place with a stroke of a pen, they make it legal again. Well, what about all the suffering in the fucking middle between the two separate decisions? Absolutely. But, you know, this, in the wake of all that, product, but wait, you, got, wait, this is, you got black market, which makes it better. So the legalization yeah, yeah. is better than being illegal, but it's still not right. Okay. Right. Well, I'm still looking at all. What about the control that society uh, is given over over us by consent so to speak 
<clears throat> I think. And the and <clears throat> when the government lies to the public for eighty years about a plant, and in that eighty years punishes, tortures, robs, embarrasses, humiliates, and ruins millions of fucking lives. And yeah, here we know, are 80 years later, and all of a sudden, with a stroke of a fucking pen, because some scientists learned that it doesn't hurt you, it helps you. Well, why, why not just admit you lied for 80 years and start fresh and just call it a day? No, let's legalize it so we can keep these chimpanzees fucking dancing. <laughs> well, it's the way it looks to me. I mean, even in Denmark, the city, the state uh, is getting together. There's different parties are joining together in a push to legalize <clears throat> hemp. And okay, cannabis. let's let's play a game in chat. Uh, when you well, think not legalized Denmark, to de- wait, wait to decriminalize. <laughs> the reason I wanted to say that is not to legalize it, but to decriminalize it. That's what it said in ink, not words or a, some something I heard on a TV show. It was in ink for everybody to see. And I believe the Danes are more, um, they're more responsible to their constituency than most, <coughs> most of the free countries I've been in. This is the fifth country I've lived in besides the States. I've lived in America, many parts of it, in the uh, Spanish yeah, yeah, United States, uh, south yeah, of the border but, in the frontier towns of Mexico. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna. Know. I'm, this is five, right? But l- the reason I wanted to tell you that, Vinny, is I've lived in Mexico, <clears throat> I've lived in Canada, I've lived in our, um, Scotland, and I lived in England, and now I'm in Denmark. And the one thing that the four last four countries have in common is that I was never once harassed by police in any of those countries. England? That's because you're white privilege, obviously. Oh my God! Are you kidding me? Well, they probably, thought, is, you, yeah, they probably no, thought you as an old rock star, so you had no, extra was, white privilege. That was back in 89 when I went there the first time. Yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. there 89, a, a bit of 89, a bit of 90, and then I went back in 96 for about six months. Stayed well, for yeah, a while. You know, back in uh, the uh, second half of the 80s, my life, I, I was on the uh, run from uh, 1985 uh, uh, till uh, 89 and uh, i i being white and uh, kept my hair cut and stayed uh, you know in uh, mm-hmm. proper attire uh, i was able to uh, avoid the, the cops even they getting stopped with by one you know and yeah uh, yeah knowing the yeah. right things to say and you know that yeah. uh, i was able to pass on through and that was in california actually i spent my uh, most of my time on the run out there in california on the land wow. before i turned myself in and uh, went a couple of years in prison, which was a good experience. As a matter of fact, I made the best of it. Uh, took trade class, and got my GD. And, yeah. Uh, well, for me, I come from the day when before computers, where um, moving and getting away with crap was a whole lot easier. Yes, and I was at the you tail know? end of you know the seventies. Really, was like the peak of uh, getting an alternate identity, and where they. Uh, by the 80s, they were really cracking down a lot on uh, how people were a- able to s- assume other identities. And then, of course, with, uh, you know, financial scams and that sort of thing, uh, it's really uh, would be hard for a person to uh, exist outside of uh, this current state of affairs that we live in, the control system. And, you know, like Powell is managing to uh, to avoid the confines of in so many ways. Uh and like you was, <clears throat> excuse me, saying when we started out, you know, we on this uh, anarchy bit, how, you know, it's a way of thinking more than I- anything else. So, yeah, it's not a uh, physical act. It's right. A mental, uh, it's a mental state. I, yeah. You mind your business, I'll mind mine. I think that the neighbors that I live amongst live that way. Yeah. And this is a basically a communist state in the opinion of the Americans. And I don't, I don't think so. I think there's a lot of freedom here that, I didn't have it home. Oh, lost Vincent. Holy. So I'm still, uh, I'm going to call him back here real quick. We're having a stalled moment while I call Mr. Vinny back on the telephone. Anyway, I lost, because he dropped off like that, I lost track of what, what I was yakking about. So I guess we're still live. 
Hmm. Well, I lost Vincent, so now I'm dorking. Maybe we just do it. Uh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Give me a minute. I'll give me a musical interlude here. Where's my harmonica? I'll play. Uh, blah 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 blah. I'm gonna try calling him back. Boy, hey, now I know what it's like to be Grimner on uh, Balls to the Wall. He was doing this his show when I got up this morning. Hey, there he is. Hey, you. Okay. Right. Nice. Mr. Hey. Fall off the phone. Hey. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, whatever. Incoming. That's the. That's the. Well, you know, and yeah. Just I just kept jibber jabbering and trying to call you back, and and basically that's how I live. Panicking yeah. doesn't change a fucking thing, and you know, just give things a, a moment to calm down, and then try it again. Mm, oh, and what I was saying is, back in the '80s when I was in New York before the internet took off, and you know, the f cell phones and all that, it was still kind of uh, uh, primal. We had to talk to each other, and you know, meet in restaurants and bars, and have dinner in public, and actually look across the table and say, "Hey, how you doing tonight?" <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, sir. drug deals with beepers and payphones. <laughs> No, nah, people would just call the bar to see if I was there. <laughs> <laughs> I was taking a drink of water about <laughs> <laughs> Well, like yourself, I, I don't consider pot drugs. I consider heroin <laughs> drugs. I consider cocaine drugs. You got some heroin? I even consider, <laughs> I consider cigarettes and alcohol drugs, but not pot. I never did heroin. Best high I ever had. Really? I can understand. I yeah. Well, the first time, there's different ways to use it besides a needle. But the first time that I used it, I realized, wow, no wonder people get, I had the wherewithal to stay on top of it and not get sucked into, oh, I want to feel like this all the time. Yeah. I was a recreational user, so, mm. but yeah, once you use it, wow, there's nothing like it. Mm. Yeah, I knew. But, uh, a guy yep. worked with he he died speedballing. See, but there you go. That's not what I was doing. I was an experiment. I, I was more controlled. It's I guess it's hard to explain, but you know, we each do what we do in the way that we do it. And if you've lived to be as old as I am, <laughs> and, and can still physically do the shit I can do. I, I've stopped and wondered sometimes if it wasn't because of the things that I did to get me where I'm at. The bad things included. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I looked at it as a learning lesson. I wanted to know, I don't like to tell people I know shit I didn't do. Right. I, you I know, for me, I, yeah. with my mistakes in life, it, it is part of who I am and made me who I am. So, and having learned from those, so. You know, right, a lot of times really, you wonder if you'd go back and do your life over, do it differently. But you know, oh, I'm fuck not sure no, fuck no. Why? Uh, you I'm don't happy know where you're going that to, life and who I am. Yeah, but you don't know where you're going to now. You think you, you you might know what I'm talking about. We as people, we think we know where we're at and where we're going, but life has ways of just stopping and changing things at a moment's notice, and you had nothing to do with it. I know where I'm going when I look back and see where I've been. Yeah, but you can plan all you like, and sometimes for years and years it'll go the way you plan it, and then all of a sudden, something changes. Yeah, it'll happen too. Well, I people do not like the nonconformist to the society that they serve. I'm a nonconformist and have been my whole life. When I was 16, my half-brother's dad told me I was a rebel without a cause. But yeah, I, fa yeah. I found the cause. I, I found the uh, what it was that I felt wasn't right. You know, I, I sensed that. All, yeah, well, you're doing something. But you're doing something with your time traveling to these places that you've been. And you're actually getting something done in the game, which I can't do. I, I've got no fucking interest to ever enter the game for any reason. But well, you do, so I support that you do it. But I'm actually I do it. looking forward to uh, 
I'm getting something bigger than the box. I, I don't know. That's why I'm not living down there. Uh, no, <laughs> I, I, when I left. I said, when I come back, I want to be glad to be back to my box. And nah, I'm not. So, uh, Oh, so you're not done yet. No. Plus, uh, when I do decide to sit down, uh, I want to be, <laughs> I wanna be like says, I am right now. Grimner says you're quoting White Snake. <laughs> Did I really? I don't fucking know. White Snake, some rock band or something, I would suppose. It's from Grimner's music uh, or politics, but maybe I'll there's a Senator White Snake. I don't know. No, no. I'll, I'll know where I'm <laughs> going when I look back and see where I've been. Is that the, is that the quote? Because uh, I just came to the end. Oh, I, the, I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. I uh, Vinny had to load new hamsters into the wheel. <laughs> Frumpy. <laughs> They're teasing you bet you redneck um, internet. Oh. Well, hey, we had uh, sunlight popped in here about 25 years ago. So we we're actually uh, you know, catching up to the modern age here. Slow but sure. Oh, hell, my parents had this house in Scotland on an island and I went to visit them there for six months in 1996 and the locals were telling me that the island didn't have electricity until the 80s hmm. where you didn't have a generator and you're making it your own yourself they <laughs> they were you know self-supporting completely until the 80s except what they could bring in by boat hey I spent uh what, 11 days and then 28 days out there in Riverside where I that <laughs> with, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, Grimner's, well, batteries, go Grimner, ahead. Grimner's playing Here I Go Again by White Snake. <laughs> oh, yeah? I, I suppose, yeah, because you were saying something that made everybody think you were quoting White Snake. <laughs> You're the plagiarized, what, the plagiarized... Hair. Paraphrase, please. Yeah. Paraphrase, plagiarist. Yeah. I can't say it, but I know what it is. Mm -hmm. Oh no. It's Can not you hear my me, job. Edie? Yeah, but it's not my job to tell you what to do. You know, that's what I believe. Mm. I and I well, don't. Those think... are baby M and M's, and they're really good. I'm trying. Good, to... but what I don't think is that a, a small community where people are responsible for what they do, it doesn't breed contempt. So. No, with the problems that we have are based on numbers and greed and lies because small societies are where it's at. Yeah, and that's where I exist right here in Arkansas. We're a little small community here, and, and that has segments in itself, too, right? Right. So half, but half moon. When, I, <clears throat> when it, I was it, in it my. It's very own community back, you know, yeah. 1800s, early 1900s, and so on. But Vinny, when I was in my 20s, I wanted to go drinking in, in London. I wanted yeah. to go to after-hours clubs and party at 3 in the morning. <laughs> you know, Me and too. Those back, okay. But the lure of all that shit was drilled into me in the first place. And once I got away from that, I realized, uh, you know, hey, there's more to life than just playing around. Right, exactly. But I wasn't aware of it when it happened. But looking back at, at the events that unfolded, that period was, wow, hedonist, complete hedonist. And now I'm just like a semi-hedonist because Cirque wants shit. What's a hedonist I forgot? Oh, that's somebody that just wants to have fun. Oh, yeah, that's right. And it's not like lazy or it just, you know, I'm, I have fun when I'm out working in the garden. Start. Hey, I started my own garden this year. Them boys out here got a garden going. They got some of those stuff going to mater plants and this and that. And the daggum deer is coming trying to eat it up. I got out and worked another new spot out there. And my buddy that's came what I, up. Yeah, but. see, that's what I've learned. So I get some got to get me some diametaceous earth and kill all the vermin that want to eat my vegetables. I wanted I to plant a, some greens, but it's going to be too late. They'll they'll just bolt. It's going to be too hot. But how much I, time do you need? Oh, uh, you, you can, can get it green. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, you can. But uh, I I expect to be uh, rambling here again pretty soon. So I'm kind of avoiding as many oh, things yeah, as I can yeah. too. So don't get too uh, comfortable. Yeah, because you're rolling. Well, 
Rolling, rolling. And I might stay. I might stay in California for the winter. I don't know. Set up in my buddy's garage and uh, grow some weed. Well, that sounds like an interesting opportunity. Yeah, yeah, that definitely it's, be fun. But you're gonna be in the land of fruit and nuts, grown. That's weed. right. I like granola. Wow. Yeah. See, thirty years ago, I would have done what you're doing, but nah. Now I look at it and get nah. I got other things to do now. Wow, who's ever thought I'd grow up? Yeah. Uh, oh, well. Yeah, it surprised the shit out of me, too. Who knew? <laughs> but me and Cirque have a pact. You know, when uh, when things are finished, you're just going to poison my coffee. <laughs> really? <laughs> Fuck all that divorce shit, man. Just poison my coffee and dig a hole in the backyard and push me in it. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that would work. That right, was... but see, Cirque, Cirque is the nicest person I ever met, so that ain't going to happen. I love circle. She takes a, a fucking towel or something to pick the spider up out of the uh, out of the bathtub. Sometimes they get into the house and whatnot. She, mm -hmm. But at first she was afraid of them, and now she just grabs picks picks them up with something and puts them back outside. Yes, she Mark. doesn't want to. Yeah, but she doesn't want to kill anything. She just doesn't like to to bathe with them. <laughs> well, sure. So she, if she can't kill a spider, I, I think I'll be around a while. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe? What, do you got plans, mister? No, I'm just wondering. What are you, what are you going to get up? Get yourself a passport and get on a freighter and go to Denmark. <clears throat> I doubt that they'd give me a passport. I kind of doubt it. Uh, well, maybe the America that, that you have today. Yeah, and I, I don't know if I'd get a visa into any countries, neither. Oh, okay, well, whether that allowed me passage or not. Now, see, there's one of the advantages that I still feel I hold now that above most people is uh, I had the wherewithal to play the game enough to get a passport, and I had the wherewithal to stay off the <laughs> fucking uh, grid, so to speak, the fucking public thing. And <laughs> my passport, it, all it is is really, it's not a travel document in the first place. <laughs> Actually, it, what it ra really is is an IRS document, and th they use it as a uh, form of identification. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what you need. Yeah, but see, for okay, <laughs> then explain how do you um, how do you <coughs> get <coughs> that immigration thing going? I don't Most know. People don't have documents. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you. It depends on what level of money you're on that how much of the game you actually see with your own eyes. Yeah. So well, I'm just a if, poor boy. Nobody loves me. Well, that's not my fault. Yeah, blame, everybody loves Vinny. I'm going to blame We're going to make a t uh, We're going to make a television series. I'm going to Hollywood. Oh, very good. Can I be a guest on your Hollywood show from sure. my living room? Yeah, you'll be like... Uh, the, the hippie guy. Oh, like, hey, you uh, know what? I was trying to tell you earlier. They want to decriminalize the fucking herb here. And right. What the, what the core of That's... the decriminalizing, not the legally legalizing, but decriminalizing is because of uh, uh, Freetown Christiania. That's what you if was that, telling me when I wasn't listening. Yeah, yeah if that place didn't exist, <laughs> the the Danes would probably be in the same boat as you know the next closest thing to it which would be legalizing it to make but money you got, but you got all those dirty wanna, hippies in freetonia that give it all a bad name right well actually no they're the ones that um clean it clean it up and made it more uh attractive yeah but they're kicking out hard drugs right well they never allowed them yeah so it's kind of weed is not, not considered a drug amongst the um they're basically well, uh it, it is what you would call um, an anarchist society. Not but really, they have, because they, because yeah, they say yeah, that they're squatting. They, they're yeah. they're squatting on Danish land. They have for forty five years or something. Yeah, it's kind of like that out there in the Salton Sea, uh, Slab City. Have you heard of it? Remember it? Yeah, yeah. Pe but people have lived their whole life. This is more developed. It's got businesses and uh, they do trading with with the outside world, mm -hmm. but they refuse to pay taxes on the property so it causes that 
the friction between the state that wants to control. And they have schools and hospitals? They, well, no, 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 no. I don't think they've got a hospital, but uh, they've, have, they've been there long enough. People have been born and raised there and lived there their entire life. I've been there plenty of times, but I'm, it's mm. just, uh, it's like walking into a neighborhood out of this, right on the, let's in the city in a sense, because it's all surrounded by water. You so know, the city is, how do they enforce this? No drug rules. Then they have a police force well, there. Well, the, pol no, the police from Copenhagen raid it and illegally do what they do. That's what all the legal problems have been about. The police don't really have any jurisdiction. And it's come down to it's not worth the fight anymore, and they want to just give up. Everybody wants it to stop. So they've come to decriminalize this crap and stop all the fighting. And we'll spend the money on something more important. Mm. And that, uh, I think the polls were saying 57% uh, of the population want to legalize it. So decriminalizing it is more enticing. What about the wrong? Le what about, about that white, the wrong man, that white horse, man? No, 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 no. We're, we're talking weed, cannabis, not, not powders. Powders are drugs, chemicals, and the man-made shit. Not so what about everything's a chemical, how, but how about coca leaves then from the cocaine no, plant? Fuck no, 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 no. That's that's not weed. Well, We're it's a plant. Just it's a plant leaf. What if you just want to make tea out of it instead of putting the caustic chemicals in it and making it a uh, alkaline well, then why, poison? Then you probably wouldn't need thirty tons of it, then, would you? Mm. But you uh, know, think about this. Too. There are thirty-nine states with a population bigger than Denmark in America. Yeah. So this country isn't populated by a lot of people in the first place. So I think what happened is over a period of time, they've come to terms with fighting this war of drugs as American thing, and we don't want any more of it. Well, actually, they still do if they're just uh, decriminalizing the cannabis plant. Well, may, maybe <clears throat> so, but that's the only thing I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. I don't really, I don't think any of this should, should, be, ha, should be illegal. I don't give a fuck. If you're insane enough to do these things to the point of hurting yourself or somebody else... Well, that's life, you know. What are you gonna blame a car accident on the on the car? Yeah, maybe <laughs> sometimes if there is like a, a malfunction or you know uh, liability from the manufacturer. <clears throat> well, then Good. explain alcohol. Wait a minute, you know, I've drank enough where I don't remember what happened the night while I was drinking, so I've learned not do that. But luckily for me, I wasn't the type to get in behind the wheel of the car and go for a ride or anything well, stupid like that. Well, just wait. They're, you know, they're suing gun manufacturers for people being killed by a gun. So what's the difference between that and alcohol or the, the, the uh, pharmaceutical it's manufacturers? Admiralty Court. Come on. <clears throat> I thought you knew more about Admiralty Court <clears throat> apparently than you do. No, they I... They make that shit up as they go. No, you, there's rules You walk there. in there, you... Yeah, but they... <laughs> It's a, yeah, it's the old sleight of hand. They tell you one thing, and it means something else in legalese. That's what the lawyer's for. Not not to really enlighten you, but to make sure the judge knows what's going on with you. Because the lawyers are all on the judge's side. Got nothing to do with you. You're just a dollar bill. Wouldn't it they be better if to not what? go to court, to get not get locked in there? Yeah, exactly. Try to avoid and the, that. And exactly, which is what I managed to do. But until I was about 26, until I was about 26, I hadn't quite learned my lesson completely with the with the law. I had a ticket I was refused to pay, and it took me like three years for him to finally put me in jail, set it out. <laughs> Judge gave me 36 oh. days, and the, they kicked me out a week early. Calling me warden. <laughs> uh, my my dad had this three wheel this three wheel Volkswagen. It was converted from a Volkswagen into a trike. It had a long extended front end and the engine in the back and all that. 
would hold two people behind me while I was riding it. So anyway, one night I was out by myself late, decided to go home and I get pulled over like a block and a half from my house and the police want to search the bike. Well, it wasn't my bike. It was my father's bike and he had this metal bar wrapped with, uh, electrical tape so he didn't cut his fucking fingers on it as a pry to hold up the body because he would been doing something to it and he shoved the bar into the body to not lose it and finish what he was doing the next day and the police decided to arrest me because that was a a concealed weapon on the bike wow you're a bad boy okay yeah bet, 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 bet. so here i am it's 1 30 in the morning the, the cops, I talked them out of impounding the bike. They said, just leave it, and I can come get it the next day. So I go to jail, get a few hours of sleep, wake up in the morning, look at this fucking frumpy judge, <clears throat> and I tell him, uh, I, I pled guilty to the charge to get the fuck out of there. So they gave me a fine. <laughs> it's like I thought they would. And my thing was at the time is, I ain't paying you no fucking fine money. You can kiss my ass. Well, about nine, ten months later, there's a knock on my door. So I answer it, and guess what? It's the police looking for me. And they said that nah, I had nah. an out, outstanding warrant for failure to appear. I'm paying this fine thing. So they take me back to jail again. And in the morning, I get a few hours of sleep, and then I wake up in the morning and, and decided I have no idea why I thought of doing this. But I, I told the lawyer I wanted to change my plea. And he said, okay. And the judge said, okay. And I said, well, I'm not guilty. And out of nowhere, in the interest of justice. or well, Dismissed. Yeah, I think dismissed. In the, yeah, because there was no evidence because they destroyed between the time I originally got arrested to the second time after not paying the fine. They had destroyed the evidence. Hmm. So there was nothing to charge me for. <clears throat> I had uh, one of these encounters one time in Fort Worth, Texas. And, uh, I hear this. He's resisting, partner. He's resisting. And I'm like, oh, oh no. shit. shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I yeah. throw myself on the hood of the police car. and uh, I took a real roughing up. I'll yeah. tell you what. So they take wow. me to jail. Yeah, one saying, what are we going to get him for? Well, partner, he said, jaywalking. The other one says, littering. He throws this big piece of concrete out there. And that then came the resisting, and I was like, "Oh no!" But uh, so, anyways, uh, I, after I got out of jail, I went to the uh, internal affairs, and that I was a joke. So I'm like, "Piss on y'all!" Anyways, y'all, they arrest me here. Some uh, I don't even remember how long later it was, and uh, so they take me back from Dallas over to Fort Worth, and I go before the judge, and uh, she's like, "La la la!" And I said, "I tell you what, you just call upstairs and get me a." a I'm caught up there, and y'all can feed me. I don't care. I ain't paying you. No, no, uh-uh. Uh, I ain't paying for no ass whipping by the police, I said. And uh, so she's all, uh, 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 dismissed. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Yeah. Well, I was kind of bragging about the just the way that that thing fell because it was such bullshit in the first place. You know? Sure. Yeah, but they want your take. Yeah, your consent. Comply or but, die but, is the case most times, you know. Well, I have no idea why I wanted to change my mind about how to plea <laughs> and all that crap. I just did what I wanted to do at the moment that it happened, and it worked out in my favor. <laughs> that, nothing <laughs> happened it wasn't, to you. It, it wasn't. Yeah, well, yeah, no, it was just city. The city, uh, city slammer overnight twice. You know, it's like wow, big deal. It was, I don't consider that, and an, I don't know, well, no big thing to me, but it was, it's funny now. It wasn't funny when it was happening. My poor parents <laughs> were always getting, you know, it's always me getting arrested for some stupid infraction when it did happen. I never got arrested for anything important. It was always some stupid, and when I was a child, it was running away from home. Well, okay. <laughs> When they took me in on that warrant there in uh, in Dallas, and uh, it was a woman deputy or jailer or whatever that searched me, and I was all like, I thought she was feeling me. Hey. I'm not kidding. I'm like, whoa, hey. oh, hey. what's your name, girl? I'm, 
I want to I want to read something. Old uh, Old Grimner put up a, one of the uh, Admiralty Court links, and I just want to read it, a little bit of it. Maybe all of it. I don't know. Some of it. It's not that long. Hold on. You got a minute for this one because you you I thought you knew more about it than you. Oh to know, yeah, but uh, hey, while you're doing that, let me just uh, take these earphones off and go uh, uh, kick the dog. Oh, go bit. water the horses. I will sure. read the uh, shocking secret. Uh, be about back. About courtroom <clears throat> flags. All right. Now, it's very dramatic, and it says it's a warning. And this is posted on uh, Information and Theories 22908 by J. Mark Sovine. It says, the national flag of the United States, the Stars and Stripes, is sometimes decorated with gold fringe around the edges. These yellow-fringed stars and stripes can be found in most state and federal courts municipal buildings, and schools throughout America. But why? Well, the flags displayed in state courts and courts of the United States have gold or yellow fringes. That is your warning that you are entering into a foreign jurisdiction, the same as if you are stepping onto foreign soil and you will be under the jurisdiction of of that flag and that's usually the part where I get told I'm insane uh, but I believe that all these protocols in their rituals have a meaning and, and as long as they abide by their rituals and recognize their shit they're doing what they're supposed to do yeah to continue I just got married here Ooh. anyway the flag with the gold or, or yellow fringe has no constitution no laws, and no rules of any court, and is not recognized by any nation on this earth, and is foreign to you and the United States of America. And it's about, wow, that's two paragraphs into it. Anyway, I've been, I've been aware of this for a while. And then there was just times where I wasn't aware of it, but I didn't really give a shit because society is a drag. And I always thought you guys can keep it. Well, not always. But after my late 20s, when I realized what the fuck this shit was really all about, nah, I'm done. And here we sit today, all these years later. And like Vinny, I did a little bit of traveling and, and uh, did the things that most of my friends said, oh, I wish I could do this. And I just get up and go do it. <laughs> hey, Vincent. You know, hey, just I, I do was, it. I was trying to chat with Goober the other day. Well, maybe not the other day, but recently. And, you know, my secret to life is never being bound to property and possession. Yeah. Well, I've... That's it. I've, it's just, uh, I don't... I've never had a possession, physical possession, that if I didn't have it, my life would end. So I, never I, I find myself got, a, a prisoner to a, a lot of, you know, uh, things that, uh, you know, material things and doing what I'm doing anyways. I, I've uh, really like have hoped to just be able to cast away a lot of things. And unfortunately, I, I think we're bound a lot of times. So at least uh, well, at least I right, am. And I, I'm making the right. And I've done the 180 from being free to being married. And I make the best of. Um, the situation you know it's how you survive you know you survive the bad moods that way because i have them yeah well i've got this stupid smartphone that uh you know frustrating as it is sometimes it's still a pretty uh a, it's a liberator in a lot of ways it allows me to uh, do what we're doing right now I mean, hell you're in Isn't denmark that- and you always you always have enough, no matter how bad it looks. But you get the job done. <laughs> Sometimes half the job, but you get you do something. You do I think something. it's more important to do something than to not do something. Absolutely, I don't use an excuse of in, uh, it ain't in, good enough. In some cases, and then in some cases, I think that the lack of action is the best action there is. Oh, for sure, absolutely. <laughs> I, I okay, so, <laughs> so so I talked about between, that one time. But in, in between all that, we have all this crap like Admiralty Court and uh, speeding tickets and seat belts and uh, re- registering your freaking sh- you know guns with the state and all, all this intrusion into your life because of the population. 
Yeah, I uh, mm. I tried to to avoid that. Most times, if you're not committing a crime, you know you're not going to be worried about anything. Um, it, it, then you get into the code, <laughs> you know, stuff like the like the driving the, and the driver's license and stuff like that. Uh, you got to stop and think. Well, it's that the battle you wish to uh, uh, enter in, and and if so, you know, better be prepared to uh, take it seriously. Yeah, I drove for many years without uh, any driver's license or any of that horse shit. Drove a lot of people's cars, and they all knew that. It wasn't like a surprise. I mean, hey, I don't believe in all this paying for licenses shit. Uh, I don't care. To don't wreck my car. <laughs> I was a, uh, I climbed trees. I was a tree trimmer out in California when I was on the run. Oh, uh, work. hard work. Yeah. I, yeah, uh, I worked for uh, a boy under the table, drove his vehicles, and hell, half the time he dumped me in his uh, registration. <laughs> I said I have no license either, but mostly I'd get somebody See, else to drive. I don't drove it well, drove if I had to. So I was trying to avoid yeah, you know, getting you, well, stopped and asked yeah, for license. I wasn't even a, nah, I wasn't even a, that's what I mean is I was so aware of I'm not doing this game that it didn't even attract the fucking cops. I never got stopped anymore. Yeah, I haven't exactly. been I haven't been harassed by police since 1998. You know, my encounters with cops, it's usually me now that initiates it. And uh, it's uh, generally at the end. <laughs> the one saying, can I go now? Yeah. <laughs> Turn the tables on. Them. I well, sure have. There's some links about the, some of the Danish cities in uh, I don't know what part of the country, but they had a uh, sensitivity training <laughs> for the cops and what they made the police do was the they were out in the streets of copenhagen randomly hugging people yeah simply so that you'd be the getting people like, huh? wouldn't be afraid of the cop and the cop wouldn't be afraid of the people they that's, either. that's really it's really what this is all about this enforcement shit yeah i, I would is, do like yeah. I do what I did to Chloe earlier when she sent me a hug. I would, uh, I'd sneak a smooch. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I've been, yeah, but... I've been known to steal kisses. Yeah, for sure. Well, Denmark's a little different than where I've, I've been before it. It's, it's not, uh, it's just not so populated. I think the small population is what makes it unique. <laughs> and I've been to states with small populations, but the states that I went to, I spent most of my time in a city where there is no uh, identity in a city. You're just a cityite. I don't understand why you don't learn the language, though, living there. I would. Because Cirque never uses it with me. Well, well I'll have to and talk to Circle then. Why? Well, we've been... We've been together for four, four and some four, over four years, right? I want to, so, I want to, I want to give you an assignment. I want you to learn how to say <laughs> "hello, how are you" in Dutch and East. And in, uh, <laughs> yeah, right. You're gonna give me an assignment. <laughs> uh, what are you smoking, bonehead? <clears throat> well, any, anyway, well, here what you. I've decided. Well, let, let me. I'm gonna answer your fucking question now that you've asked it because you missed a lot of dork tables. Now, the beauty of not speaking the language, the native tongue, there's two sides to it. One, it's like speaking English with a mouth full of glass, to me. For two, I don't hear it enough to recognize it. And then there's different dialects amongst the different areas of Denmark of that language, like in America. Can you imagine... If you'd never heard English before, and you got a guy from Boston, and then you got a guy from California, and then you got a guy from Louisiana. Wait, 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 oh. wait, wait, wait. I lived in Louisiana, <laughs> so I'll take the Louisiana part. You play the part from California, and we'll get Hans to uh, play the part from Boston. <laughs> right, but if you're from a foreign country, that, and you're not familiar with English, and you hear these three people talking, do you think you'd even know they were speaking the same language? I would. Okay. I'm not that interested in communicating. I, I like communication. And what I've learned. Shut up! Learned I'm talking. Is, hey, hey, hey. Yeah. yeah. Wait, but what do me I a favor. Hey, is, hey, hold it. Shh. Listen. Yeah, you hear that? Yeah, the, it's me talking. No, okay. The, Shut up! I'm communicating. 
<laughs> the people that live here that speak English are. I'm sorry, are, are you talking to me again? <coughs> You're not listening. No, I'm not. I was talking. <laughs> bitch. Jesus Christ. Get down <laughs> off your high horse, mister. I was gaslighting you. I pulled yeah. I pulled a Putin lid it on fire myself. <laughs> hey, Putin. Yes, wow. this is Can the you... Putin Gaslight Show. Yes. Flash and Vinny. Can you imagine being so gullible that you could be conned into believing that any leader of any cunt tree is not a crook? <laughs> First of all, I'd like to say I'm not a crook. Yeah, but I mean, wow. And there's there's the examples that we've got. <laughs> so, I but Putin, I've I've seen American women going all insane about Putin cuz he's so, you know, Putin <laughs> well, wow. personally, I, I like the name because it's so much akin to my own nickname, Vinny the Poot. Mm. Ah, yeah. well, he wasn't a very nice, but just like any leader, Trump. Trump's just a bankruptcy king. Hey, hey. whoa, she's. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, Putin, he'd be the type to tear your eyeballs out and piss in your eye sockets, and Trump would be like, yay. Well, he's a big. Trump's a big boy, but he's got those swishy arms like he's some old Jewish grandma. He worries me. I don't know. I can't tell which way his pendulum swings. <laughs> he looks like he swings both fucking ways. <laughs> wow. I don't know. The things I've heard um, him say on tapes, I, I would assume it was him. It looked like him. Sounded like him. But the shit that he said sounded like a 15 year old boy that'd never been laid. <laughs> he, he'd be talking about you. He'd say, Flash, good guy, very, very great guy. You grab him by the pussy. They love that. I mean, who He's talks like that in the first place? Right up. Grab him by the pussy? What kind Walk of fucking right stupid? Up. That's the Come difference. on, are you. Are you stupid? Do you talk like that? You grab him by the pussy. Do you talk like that to your friends there, Vinny? Uh, uh, uh. Well, I want to know. Some of my friends. Oh, uh, so, okay. Hmm. I see. Wow. <laughs> you're, type, you're, type of friend you're a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> Those Republicans, they can't be trusted as far as you can throw a Democrat telling you. Hey, I, I like Stephanie Miller on uh, Democracy Now!, so, I mean, we can't what's, be all bad, right? What's that mean? Oh, she's a. Uh, uh, one of oh, those talking. You're, you're talking yeah. eye candy to to look. Oh, come on. No, yeah, she's a lesbian. Oh, uh, so you like looking at a lesbian, or you like listening to the lesbian? L listening, and, yeah, listening to her and laughing and and listening a lot of times to this the ridiculousness, and that's that's really oh. what we get is about ridiculousness, and and of course that'd be you know poetic being a lesbian and all well, be ridiculous. I found, I found a. a Less. A guy with a small show about of a hundred on uh, mines a couple of maybe two months ago, and they call it, they call it Rebels at the Round Table. It's it's really kind of amusing to me. the The guy is so angry at the Jews and the, the you know he knows the truth a lot of it. He knows about the Federal Reserve Bank and he knows this <laughs> that and the other, but he's still a statist. So. To me, listening in my mind, all I hear is a guy complaining about what he wants to support from a different angle. You know, I don't want uh, this and I don't want that. Is what's that got to do with politics? First off, <laughs> you gotta you gotta serve somebody. That's why. Do I have to again? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Holy pretty shit. much. Well, pretty you much. mean you don't vote? You don't vote? Oh, I've I never didn't know that. voted in my life. Oh, <laughs> bye, bye Chloe. <laughs> Poor Chloe doesn't Chloe like going? me anymore. I don't know. Who cares? Why? Why, doesn't bother me any. Who she, cares? I just leave? was reporting. I was observing and reporting. Nah, she's just Is probably she mad because I was not having a good time with the boys this morning on the RLM chat. People like to so choose sides said? in a disagreement. I don't know. What did you cares? say goodbye for? 
Oh, you can't read I'm, it. I, she says, I done listening yeah. to Flash's shit. I say, fuck <laughs> you right What about back. me? What am I, chopped liver? No, no, Vinny, oh. you sound oh. great. She like you very much. She don't like people Long that time? bash her fucking system. She believes in the fucking, uh, the story about 9-11. The official story. She, no, she, she doesn't. doesn't. Don't, yeah. Don't say that. Oh, yeah. No, she, she said so right here. We had a big argument about it a couple of months ago. And we were all ganging up on her because we were telling her the truth and she didn't like it. So, you know, some people yeah, can't handle the truth. Uh, it was an Now you're job. quoting there's, there's no Dylan, you, yeah. you're, you plagiarist. <laughs> Wow, Vinny. What did Dylan the say? Two, Who is this Dylan? Bob Dylan, probably. It's music. It's from uh, Grimnir. Grimnir. What did says, I say? This Let's time. play Grimnir says for five hundred, Alex. Oh, I'll take uh, I'll take Grimnir says five hundred then. There's a quote. Okay. Grimnir said. Gonna... I don't know. He was quoting your quote. <laughs> Got lost. <laughs> No, that's that other game. That, oh, that Jeopardy thing, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, you do that pretty good for a radio don't, don't. guy. Yeah, Jeopardy comes on at 11 o'clock on Channel 7. This side of the road, I get uh, my friends here. I get Channel 7. My other friends across on the other side of the road get Channel 11. That's it, other than yeah. PBS. You know, those oh. Sides. Wow, yeah. I haven't watched, outside of a computer TV, I haven't watched TV in years. Really? Yeah, I uh, yeah. I normally don't. Man, my friends across the street, I gave my TV to some several years ago. I said, no more TV for me. Had a big, uh, nice I've antenna got, system. Give it all away. No more TV. I've got but, a, you know, a horrible. You know, I've got a horrible movie addiction, Vince. Yeah, I've Debbie had that out. ever since I was a child. Well, it wasn't like a particular favorite, but I've seen it. I mean, uh, I've seen. A I never. Of films, I never seen but it. I, oh yeah. But I've seen a lot of films just because they were on, not necessarily because, ah, the elixir, but not necessarily because I turned them on, but they were there, so I, I was there. Wow. Kind of like yeah. living, only different. Yeah. Well, I've got this addiction to movies. I've always managed to find a way, cable or late night or something, and avoid the TV shows. Yeah. you know, The TV so shows I, I always saw. It was too far away. But Audio movies, books, those are pretty yeah. awesome. Well, they can't con me with the with the TV show, but they can con me with the movie. To you know, to get my they those get my hooks somehow. Still, I don't buy the drama and you know the mind shit that's in it. Kind of see it for what it is, but the entertainment value of sickness is still there. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm entertained I, uh, by the same by the same ironic sickness that you're entertained by. Sadly. Yeah, I, I like movies, but I, I generally tear them apart and break them down for what the uh, message is in there, what they're trying to put forward, and uh, yeah. I, I, I just pops out to me. But what do you see? Do you see the, the programming so that society will react a certain way, or do you see yeah. other things? That and other things as well, certainly, yeah. Okay, uh, okay. To, have you, have you to, ever watched Reefer Madness? Yeah, but it's been a long time ago, and that's okay. well, ridiculous. Well, exactly, but... This is the foundation of what swayed the public to make pot illegal in the first place. Yeah, you, you seen there where I posted uh, in, in my broadcast yesterday about they making that uh, it's okay to uh, propagandize the American public. <coughs> so it's always been yeah. Well, they make law. They make the law to fit the crime <coughs> they're committing. Sure. Just like big pharma or how how many examples are there? Monsanto, Coca Cola. Uh, Nestle's, like it just goes on. And then we use oil like a bunch of chimpanzees. Mm. I'm really pissed off about that, too. It's your this fault, Vinny. Has been brought to I you told you to stop. I told you to stop burning the fucking oil. <laughs> and I believe that there's ways to clean up all the contamination that man's done to Earth. Simply by ceasing any further contamination and proceeding forward in a massive cleanup program. And they got uh, two or three okay, basic, though. 
right? No, no, not stop they're, all that horse shit. Everything they're helping us. No, but those yeah. are good. I'm telling you, you can clean all this crap up if they'd overgrow hemp for a, maybe a year or two, and um, use borax. There's borax. There's baking soda. There's different natural chemicals that there's abundance of in certain areas that would clean up everything if they stopped continuing to fuck it up. Well, but what ab that, what about see, the damage that's already done to the ozone? I mean, that's why they got to use chemtrails now. Or what? Oh, uh, the chem. See that all that. See all that space and outside the atmosphere crap is all manipulated by scientists and I think they people that up. Wait, but people that want to get paid, they they do a job with a goal and and a and an end result. So I don't buy into all this shit. You know, if if it was just the truth, they wouldn't have to sell it to me like Coke. It would just be the truth, and that would be the end of it. Yeah. But my my bullshit o meter fucking hits red every fucking time I see a a government is attached to a statement. <laughs> I don't trust them, Vinny. That's None why they're called statements. Is that why? I'm so government. glad you cleared all that yeah. up. What would I do without you? Government state. Mints. Hey, mm. they're delicious. I think you you're keep the your most breath fresh for hours. You're, you're the most anarchist anarchy guy I know. Hey, I think you should be called anarchy guy. Get you a like a superhero costume with a big A on it. <laughs> I like I like that idea. Super Vinny, <laughs> Vinny, <laughs> hey, <yeah>. Super Vinny. <laughs> Hey, Wait. just turn the V upside down and and slash across it. Yeah, that's right. And uh, two letters gonna for do, one. Give I'm going to do my uh, purchasing from Acme. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, well, I know there isn't really a Batman, but if there was, I'd hate him. I am the Batman. Oh, I would definitely hate you. <laughs> If I was yeah, I lean. Hero. I yeah, I lean to, more towards the Joker. Oh, I, I have sympathy. I have sympathy for the Joker. No, he's insane. He's not bad. Yeah, he's, he's just crazy. Bad. In, insane is bad, and he should be destroyed. Why? Wait a minute. Well, yeah. without insane, what what would you do with your sane? It would you don't be have the opposite. World. Insanity is propagated by the. Uh, propaganda machine the uh and social I'm, yeah, and see and i told you i'm sick enough to be entertained by those it, concepts because i lean towards the joker rather than the batman guy fuck the batman hope he falls off his bat <laughs> batman's good no batman's a he's wow no, he he's taking control above and beyond all others and deciding. But he's only got one rule and he's got to break that rule and he does. So he's he's not what he said he was. Well, we're all human, even the Batman. No, he was a bad man. He killed the Joker. Oh, terrible. Hey, listen. And then they made a third and then they made a third movie Wait, too. Wait, he killed the Joker? <laughs> Batman killed the Joker. Yeah, at the end. At the end, sure, he dropped him. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't think he died. Cause the yeah, the Joker tells him you have to break your one rule, and the only rule that Batman has is he won't kill anyone, and he kills the Joker. So oh. you lose. He loses his credibility at that moment. I'll That's tell you the way that. I interpret the story. Even bad men love their mother. Okay. Well. Is that really all that big a deal? I mean, a natural thing like that, you need to be praised for doing it. Nah, you sound you sound like a status there, Mr. Well, Anarchy guy. That that was from <laughs> Russell Crowe played a three ten to Yuma remake. Is he put oh, a cliff? I can't yeah. can't stand that guy. He's just kind of a oh, I like him. Yeah, he pushed the one guy off the cliff and he said even bad men love their mother. Their mama. Wow. See what a piece of wow. It's, well, I mean, you said Batman push him off dropped of the him. Joker. So yeah, that's what, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, that's because that was breaking that rule. That was the point of the two characters interacting in the in the long run was to prove the Batman was just as bad as the Joker was. 
Well, it's not bad to kill a bad man. Isn't it? Why no. not? No. Why because not? they're bad. If somebody was going to well, try to kill you, then you kill them. That's good. Well, that's self-defense. But dropping somebody off a building? <laughs> well, he was preventing, <laughs> preventing future harm to himself. Oh. Or that doesn't yeah. make it bad. It makes so, him a good man. So if you take out one bad guy, does that mean that crime ends? No. What you, what's the, the crime, lesson for us the, to learn here? The crime of that man certainly is going to end. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't crime know. Rates, George Bush. Bro, crime rates drop. Prescott, Prescott Bush is still fucking people, and he's been dead for years. Yeah, we should dig him up and throw him off a building. <laughs> Wow, Vinny. You, the <laughs> brighter side of Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? No could, rally. Could you do... Could, all right. See, I've gotten... I've been with Cirque for a lot of time now, right? And I've softened the last... Uh, I haven't been in America since 11, I think. Right? So all that American uh, defensive being aware and all that crap's all gone. Because nobody watches me no more. I'm watching you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, don't you? I got my I eye mean, on you. Oh, you might not know this. In the, the little town that me and Cirque live in, the, the area is about 10,000 population for whatever area this is. And there's no police for 20 kilometers in the next town, Hellrod. So the the police that come through here, they're, they're not from here. Do you like almond milk? I don't know. You've never had an almond milk? An al- I don't even know what you said now. I thought you said almond milk. Almond. You take the L out, of course, after you harvest the all, um, It becomes almond. Oh, it's almond. Almond, yes. Obviously not if I don't recognize that. From, it sounds like something that I would avoid milk. Well, no. well, you know, they, they're called almonds when they're in the tree and when they're harvested. You used to, they take these wooden mallets and they have to bang the limbs to make the uh, the all the nuts drop out of the tree so by the time they hit the ground they done beat the l out of them so now they're almonds but anyways the point is if uh, i was asking if you like uh almond milk it takes right. a lot no, of- i'm not familiar with it but milk nah i'm not a big fan uh, of milk almonds too like milk. i don't care for so your you, dairy you- products as much as the next fella it's- it's not dairy when it comes from almonds. I mean, there's rice milk, almond milk. Okay, your, uh, your milk-named products would have no appeal to me to go try them. Uh, Does okay. that make but, sense? You know, it takes a, uh, yeah, I guess so. It, I would never you, you go like looking for it. Coffee. Yeah, no. but it, I just get the... It what takes I normally, a lot. I, they might not even have it here. I don't reckon... And then in Danish, I'd have to translate it. <laughs> who knows but we're in a country-ish kind of place where they don't they don't stock the th- same things here as they would in, in copenhagen so what do you eat over there what kind of food just normal hamburgers or uh, chicken or if American i wanted style pork, or yeah no sir sir cooks like um she likes to cook indian style sometimes so. oh so you get like curry. with curries, yeah, yeah. I I get her the curry to mix with, and yeah. But uh, she taught me to enjoy vegetables by cooking them. <laughs> so you don't eat kosher or anything? Me, no. I'm not a practicing fucking Jew, man. I'm a, my mother is Jewish. Well, my mom died this first of the year. I heard. I'm sorry. To, yeah. Well, I didn't know. Oh, ah, thank you. But uh, you know, she she was fairly ill when she left anyway but uh it's been a rocky year so far you know strange mm-hmm. shit that i didn't think would happen all happened so far this year cirque had the great dog walking breaking th- two fingers episode yeah right she was and you tried to blame Anna. her for it and i had to take her well side. no you know, right? it wasn't so much that it's just she's not real strong-handed she's a very delicate hands you know it's girly mm-hmm. She now, right the, finger or sure left left. Finger? left. No, no, that's left. the point. Is the dog got spooked and ran, and the and the leash got caught on her fingers and yep. pulled, and she didn't have the wherewithal and the power to pull it back immediately, and it snapped her. Me, I'd have just gripped it tighter and stopped the dog, and the dog would have went. <laughs> but 
you know, that's me. Cert doesn't, she's not aggressive like that. When so when the days? dog pulled, she didn't fight back. She went with it, and her fingers were in the wrong position to do that. So, But the good thing is now she doesn't have to wear a wedding ring anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, she broke her wedding ring finger, the worst of them all. And it's probably because of the fucking rings that she was wearing in the first place. So it was one of those, if it could go wrong at that moment in time, it did. And still, I think in the long run, just a few fingers is way better than a leg or a, a neck. Yeah, especially a neck. But a scared dog is unpredictable. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, what time is it? I don't know. Oh, it's the hour. I guess we're gonna we we've done about two. Let's call this a day, Mister. Is it wrapped up? Does it come to the end? Can you, I do any tricks to, before we close out? Or can, can you can you do your impression of a giraffe eating a lemon? <laughs> okay, but it's visual. Here you go. Ready? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> The no vowel hour on the dog. <laughs> <laughs> no vowels allowed, just uh, consonants. People and think poots. We were, yes. People would think we joined the Muslims. Poots and gaslighting. Gaslighting poots. Hey, next week, uh, you want to do the, the Muslim and the Jew show? You get uh, to be the Muslim. I am a Muslim. <laughs> this will be fucking great. Okay, and... uh. I don't know how to do the closing end thing. You do the closing. Thanks, Grim, for uh, giving us a shot at this. Appreciate Thank it. Have you, Grim. Fun. Yes, thanks, and Flash. It's always, I it's always fun talking with you, Bonehead. And you yeah. remind me of, well, you remind me of things I never think about anymore because you're from that side of life that most people don't see. Mm. Yeah, well, that's all. Thanks. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. have a big affinity yeah. for you. Yeah. I love yeah. you both. I know that. Absolutely. Appreciate it. And Grimner, well, Grimner's we got greatest. Grim's on the radio tomorrow awesome. doing the blues and um, and trivia, and then Hal's on tomorrow night. Yeah, and Mar, and well, the night over after there that, you're at. Right. And then after that, Gary L. and Gigi's Boo Boop. on uh, The Road Less Traveled. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember because usually Mary does that for me. Yeah, next, uh, the next Wednesday, Grammy's back on, 6 o'clock in uh, Kansas time. Duh, duh. Yeah. yeah, but she need she needs the daylight Saturdays to tend to her yard and whatnot sure. and play with her grandkids. Well, shit, it's it's a fair trade off. Yeah. Anyway, but I I I feel as comfortable doing this crazy shit with you as her. So I'll see you next Saturday. Right on. Yeah, and I'll be here Friday with uh, part three of the Bendyville review. It'll be on the prophecy. Uh, did a. Uh, Set up for the show with uh, Brand Thornton, uh, the White Horse Prophecy. So this is Leah Centilli, uh, Oregon Public Broadcasting, uh, Long Reads, and uh, Ryan J. Haas, and some others in their collaboration of their uh, propaganda hit piece against the uh, the Bundys and those involved in the uh, uh, standoff by the federal agencies in uh, Bunkerville 2014 and uh, up in Oregon where they occupied the refuge. So uh, continuing that, uh, it's not over. Uh, there's more coming, and we need to stand for the uh, First Amendment and Second Amendment, is my opinion, uh, even though I don't have a gun at, uh, uh, or bear one. But I got arms. I'm uh, armed with my arms, my feet, my phone, and my voice, and uh, I'm, uh, I'm standing as witness, standing in the gap, trying to connect voices. Uh, sometimes a lot of these boneheads just won't listen. But anyways, we'll, uh, we'll say... Uh, Alvita say uh, and all the other kind words. Or how does Porky Pig? That's all, folks. That's all, folks. That's it. All right, Flashers. I'll see you back in chat. Thanks. Uh, actually, uh, I got somebody. <laughs> actually, I got okay. somebody. Need my phone. So, uh, uh, Alvita say bye bye. Later. Ta da.